Is this really a hybrid? Because it doesn't feel like any hybrid I've been in before. This is the all new Tucson from Hyundai. And I think, Andrea, this might be one of the best vehicles we've driven all year. Let's go for a drive. Now, Hyundai is coming to market with a bunch of new hybrid models. The first one we're going to test drive is this Tucson. Let's find out what's under the hood. It's got a 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with a six speed automatic transmission. It has 226 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. There is a regular gas model, two and a half liter four cylinder engine with an eight speed automatic. It has 191 horsepower and 181 pound feet of torque. The gas model gets a temporary spare tire, but this hybrid gets a tire repair kit. Don't worry, spare tire included here, Drea. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be interesting because, uh, so we're getting the Santa Fe next week with the same drive line. It's gonna be interesting to see how they drive based on slightly different platforms. Yes, and a bigger vehicle. The yeah. Tucson is smaller than the Santa Fe, so I'll be interested to see what the fuel economy is, pricing, all that great stuff. So we have a lot of stuff coming up. We've got questions, coffee and cars for your consideration. Our hot topic, oh, price pause, like fuel economy. Like it just, the list goes on. But before we do that, we have to get into our key standard features. What do you get with this? The luxury trim in Canada comes with more features than the base model blue trim in the US. So we're gonna focus on that in our key standard features. It comes with an eight inch touchscreen, a 10 and a quarter inch digital display instrument cluster. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is wireless. Wireless charger. Heated leather wrap steering wheel. Heated and ventilated front leather seating surfaces. Panoramic sunroof. Smart power liftgate. LED headlights and taillights. And 19 inch wheels. I see we've got the push button transmission back again, Andrea. What do we have to put it in? We've got to put it in S for subscribe. And if you could hit the notification bell, it really supports the channel. You'll be notified when the videos drop and then you can watch them. So make sure you subscribe because we do five videos a week. We do two couple car reviews. One on Wednesday afternoon and the other one on Saturday. So make sure you subscribe for that. In addition, we have our live show every Monday. If you have questions about a car, we can cover it there. We drop up a comparison every Tuesday. And every Friday we have their Survivor Series, some cool old collectible car. And Instagram is how you interact with the show. If you have any questions you want to get in, you want to get a sneak peek of what's coming up, Motormouth underscore Andrea. And for me, it's Motormouth underscore Auto. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below. So when we were shooting this, a lot of people were looking at it, scratching their head. They couldn't really place what it is. No. It looks upscale and different, and the front signature headlamp situation is first class. Yeah, you get these premium projector headlights. They're LED, but only available on the top Ultimate trim, which we are driving. I remember we did a little quick preview when this was unveiled with yep. all the sharp angles. You know, the vehicle is bigger than the previous version, but I thought in pictures it didn't quite work. In person, this thing is great looking. Yeah, I love the front grille. That black chrome looks so cool. I think the back end, have you noticed those lights look a lot like a Mach-E? Yeah, the Mustang. Yeah. Um, that's a cool look. It's a nice looking vehicle. The problem Hyundai has is they can't stick with a design for more than two minutes. Uh, so will this be changed again in two I years? I hope not. It looks to, so good. I think they've got a winner on their hands. There is one packaging choice that Hyundai has made that is really not good, and it has to do with the power tailgate of the back. We'll get to that in a moment, but let's focus on the inside. You think the outside looks cool? Check out the inside. Wow, so futuristic. I love this 10 and a quarter inch screen, eight inches standard, and then you've got a digital driver display, also 10 and a quarter inches. I think that Hyundai did a great job here. Very beautiful. Now, some might say, oh, I don't like all this piano black. I've been hearing that a bit. But you know what? What other trim could you use in here well, besides it just being a full screen? What they're trying to do is the top portion is the screen and the bottom portion are all the keys. Yes. And they're trying to make it look like one big screen by making it all black. Yeah. Now, speaking of the keys, I hate the fact that there's no volume knob. Like they've got, uh, I just don't like that. Like, what is the problem? You know who did this? And then they reverse course and put it in was yep. um, Honda. They had no volume knob and then they reverse course and put it in. 
Yeah, now I've been using the volume knob on the steering wheel. I have found it quite easy. I agree with you, Zach. I like a volume knob, but uh, it was easy on the steering wheel, yeah. so that's what I'm sticking with. Steering wheel is fine, but for the passenger, I don't sure. I think here in the center shifter area, mm -hmm. they could place a little volume knob, kind of like Audi does. They put a separate one sure. down here. I think it's just something they could do. It certainly looks futuristic and modern, but yeah. uh, touch sensitive um, keys on the dash is not a favorite of a lot of people. Yes, you are right. Now in Canada, you get two trims. You don't really get a base model trim, which we kind of feel is a bit of a mistake, a yeah. misstep from Hyundai, because you've got kind of a middle trim oh, starting wait. at almost $39,000. Who sells a base entry level inexpensive hybrid? Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> the people who sell the most hybrids, Toyota with the RAV4. Yes, now we'll get into that in our hot topic coming up. In the US, you do get three trims. You have different names than we have, but you have a blue trim that is a base model trim. And I think we need something like that in Canada as well. So this thing is bigger than before. So the back seat is really, really roomy and yeah. a really big cargo area. So they are ticking a lot of, of boxes for buyers. People like more space, they like more efficiency, they like more power. This thing has a turbo four cylinder engine yes. at its heart. I think it's like they did a really good job. Oh, and one thing, uh, no CVT. We'll get to that in a moment. Yeah, and we've got a beautiful panoramic sunroof in Canada. It's available on both trims. The only problem with the gas model Yes, it's a lower price, but you can't get the power tailgate in it. In the US, you can get a trend package that you can add and you get it, but in Canada, it's not available. We had a follower asking about this. She's not quite ready for the price of the hybrid, but she also wants a power tailgate, so she's a little disappointed. So in Canada, if you want a power tailgate, you gotta go for the hybrid. And I am here to tell Hyundai, listen to me, if you, have had a power tailgate, you're always gonna want a power tailgate. Yeah. Like these features, once you've had a vehicle with them, you're never going backwards. No. So this eliminates a big chunk of the market to have a lift gate, especially you got your groceries in the winter, all that, it's just, just put it in. And another interesting thing is on the eight inch touch screen that you get in the lower trims, it comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But if you go up to the larger screen, the 10 and a quarter inch, it does not, it's wired. There is, from what we've heard, some sort of a software issue or a maybe a, yeah, a contract issue with Google. The big question, if you buy this today and then six, eight months, a year from now, they make wireless available with the bigger screen, meaning can you take it in and get a software update and have it included? That question has not been answered. So you're kind of rolling the dice a bit, all right? Let's get to more of your questions. Time now for questions, coffee, and cars. Your questions from Instagram. Does the hybrid version come with an all-wheel drive option? It does. It only comes with all-wheel drive in Canada and the U.S. Is there going to be a plug-in soon? Yes, there's going to be one coming this summer. So we're recording this in May, um, they said in the summer. So in the next couple of months, you yeah. might be watching this after it's already out. Yes, and one of our followers actually took a screenshot. The pricing used to be online mm. and it came in around 58,000. It is no longer there. There is no pricing online. I'm Zach, gonna, I'm gonna make a bet. There's not a chance that it's, how much was it? 58,000. No, no, that's not right. No. Um, maybe for the top, top, top model. It has to, in Canada, be under $45,000 in order to qualify for the $5,000 federal rebate. That's right. So you know it's gonna be 44,995, 44,998, 44,999, somewhere in there. Somewhere under 45. And, and, and the yeah. base model has to start under that. You can charge more, you could have a $55,000 one. For sure. But you have to have the base model start at that price in order to get the 5,000 bucks and they will want that oh, they'll have for it, their buyers. For sure. Wow, how does the six-speed drive compare to the RAV4 hybrid CVT? I think I would have gone with this one if I could have waited two years instead of my RAV4. Can't wait for the review. Thank you for that. Wow. Big difference. Big, big difference. This is so smooth. It almost feels like you're driving a pure EV to me. So much power. When you accelerate, it goes. Terrific. It's very well done. And you know what? Not only do they have a conventional automatic, which I prefer, I am with you, 
They also have a turbocharged four-cylinder engine on board. So you get turbocharging, electrification, and a conventional automatic. Nice. And guess what? A very quiet cabin. Yeah. Not so much with the RAV4 Hybrid. How is the interior size compared to last year's model? As a tall driver, I found the 2020 Tucson did not have enough leg or hip room and was wondering if this new model is larger inside. Love the reviews. Yes, it is taller, Huge. wider, longer. In fact, it's 15 millimeters taller and wider and almost six inches longer. All the right. wheelbase is almost 3.5 inches or is 3.5 inches long. All right, here's uh. a shot of me getting in the back seat. It is enormous in the back seat. And I'm um, six feet tall, but I have the torso of a giant. He does have I, a torso of the giant. So I would say short my- Short legs. Short, no, I have normal legs, but the torso <laughs> of a giant. I don't have short legs. Yeah, short legs. And uh, so I got lots of, this is a big car. And you know what the difference between this and the Santa Fe? It's not the length, it's the width. It's a slightly narrower, but um, it, this is fit. This is shooting to the top of my list of cars for this year. Well, that's in, how good it is. Yeah, and in fact, when we got in this, we thought, "Wow," because we just reviewed the Santa Fe. Yeah, last is it, week. Is it around the same size? The Santa Fe is definitely bigger, but this is a lot bigger than the outgoing model. And the back seats, there's plenty of legroom, and the seats recline. I mean, it's, it's a great. great they're going to sell. They're going to sell all of these. All yes. Of them. That's it, Zach. Oh, Great wow. questions. Oh, Thank you so much for participating. Get my coffee. Yeah. All right. If you want to get a question, make sure you follow Andrea. It's motormouth underscore Andrea. But right now, it's time for Nightlife. We keep one question back from questions, coffee, and cars and expand on it. It's our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? Compared to the RAV4 Hybrid and their proven reliability and resale value, do you find yourself leaning towards the newer Hyundai or the three-year-old design Toyota? Love the reviews. So you have a blue chip stock, which is Toyota. Yeah. Or you're going to take a bit of a gamble on a new product that is, in my opinion, much better. So that's the problem you have. Do you go with Old Faithful? Or do you go with the cute girlfriend? I'll tell you what I'm going with. I'm going for the cute girlfriend, for sure. Um, Good answer, Andrea. Right? So I like this a lot. There are a few things that are a standout to me versus the RAV4 Hybrid. One, the smooth drive, the way it accelerates, the power. Turbo engine. Oh, and then the quiet cabin. Do you hear anything? I don't. Mm -hmm. It's it's really well done. Like I got this and I thought, eh, we'll see how it goes. I, I, I would love a volume knob, but I could overlook that because I like the rest of this so much. Now, a few things about the RAV4 Hybrid versus this Tucson Hybrid is that it does get better fuel economy than this. The RAV4 Hybrid gets 5.8 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 6.3 on the highway. That is terrific, but you know who the real winner is? The Ford Escape Hybrid yeah. getting 5.4 liters per 100 kilometers the, in the city. And the Ford Escape is cheaper than all of them. It's, it is. It's cheaper, it gets better fuel economy, and they did a very good job of that one too. But it doesn't look like this. Nothing like this. So you can tell that Hyundai has moved this vehicle up market, in Canada at least, because you do have a base model in the US. The RAV4 Hybrid gets a base model for $33,000. I mean, that's about a $5,000 difference between the two. And for a lot of people, they just can't make that stretch so it's eliminating a lot of people out of getting this vehicle which is unfortunate now while we're talking about competitors what else can you buy for your consideration four vehicles for you to consider here are four hybrids of a similar size for you to choose from. The Ford Escape has a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with an Atkinson cycle powertrain and a CVT. It has 200 horsepower and a starting price of almost $32,000. The top trim is almost $37,000. Of course, the granddaddy is the Toyota RAV4. It has a two and a half liter four cylinder engine matched with a CVT. 
Toyota's hybrid system producing 219 horsepower, and it has a starting price of almost $33,000. The top trim is $43,500. Up next is another Toyota, the Toyota Venza. It has a little more luxury and a tiny bit bigger than the RAV4. They share the same wheelbase and the same engine with 219 horsepower. It has a starting price of $38,500, and the top trim, Forty-seven and a half thousand. Next up is the stablemate to this vehicle. It's the Hyundai Santa Fe, and it has the same driveline: a 1.6-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with an electric motor. It has 226 horsepower and a starting price of just over thirty-nine thousand dollars. The top trim is almost forty-four thousand dollars. So there are four hybrids for you to consider. But well, what does this thing cost? The luxury trim starts at almost $39,000 and the ultimate top trim is $41,500. The Tucson Hybrid gets 6.3 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, 6.6 .6 on the highway. That's 37 miles per gallon city, 36 miles per gallon highway. What I like about this Andrea is at its heart, it has a turbo four cylinder engine and a conventional automatic transmission. It speaks to my soul. Then you add in the electrification. It makes it smooth and quiet and responsive and it's bigger. It's checking so many boxes. Yeah, quick, nimble, turning radius is excellent. I am a big fan oh, I you're of this about, Tucson. I thought you were talking about me. Are you quick and nimble and do you have great fuel economy? Not today, I got a sore back. <laughs> <laughs> what I like is that it comes with loads of standard safety features. Well done, Hyundai. You know what it doesn't have? A volume knob here in the middle. That they could add because doing this, no fun. Well, Hyundai, you did it again and I'm not surprised you continue to put out terrific vehicles and this Tucson Hybrid is no exception. I always go through the year thinking what's going to be on our top 10 list of vehicles. Well, this one's shot right into the top 10 already. So wait to the end of the year. I think it's going to be on the list for sure. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below.